Commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the second game of the BSL Season 13 Group A of Hasu League final match. Exit versus Master Ray. This is going to be on Good Night, a more macro oriented map. Bottom left hand corner, we have Master Ray. Upper right hand corner, we have Exit. I don't know who to favor on this map. The previous map, honestly, because it was, I don't know, I would argue a more creative map on Heartbreak Ridge, I was thinking that. Exit would have an advantage given his uh, ability to adapt and adjust and play style. Master Ray, though, just playing a very greedy opener. Exit misreading it, believing that he's going up against potential Reaver tech. And I'm wondering if that just has to do with potential... Uh, it's kind of an argument. Is it is it that he's potentially just been traumatized by Protoss on the ladder and then thinking, oh, Reavers are always coming? Or is it just an inf unfamiliarity with Master Ray's play style? I feel like Master Ray loves doing little pressure plays, getting that macro advantage, oftentimes trying to push a Nexus when he knows he has map control, and then just going Gateway Man at, with a handful of Arbiters to follow that up and just getting solid engagements from there. Um, Master Ray's macro, despite having low, P low APM, very strong, 1,000 APM currently for Exit. So he is really spamming that keyboard. I'm wondering if that's a mistake. I, I'm wondering if that means these guys were playing in a decent amount of lag as well. Going for a barracks at the low corner, kind of an off position. So it's, it's not a 14 CC, but building is going to be able to build Marines down the ramp. I'm kind of curious about this play. I think that actually, I don't think that blocks the command center, but it's just an odd placement early. It suggests that exit is thinking about going for a very fast command center. And maybe he's hoping to go fast command center, have a Marine that can dance between zealots in the midst of things. However, we are seeing an assimilator and a cybernetic score before the initial zealot for Master Ray, which is not unusual on a floor player map. Exit scouting upper left hand corner first. Master Ray not yet sending out a scout of his own. Cybernetic score about halfway finished. And yeah, exit not grabbing his gas. So it looks like he is going to go some version. This is an interesting build. Going a... I should have gotten the number on the, the racks, but I think that was just a standard... Rax timing and a 15 command center to follow. I haven't seen this before. And the first Marine being produced. The one problem with this, though, is if the Zelts just kind of, if there were Zelts coming, they could just ignore this and just walk up the ramp. Also, if Master Ray had opted to gate pressure early, this might have been really difficult to defend. It looks like Master Ray, however, opting, he is building this initial Dragoon. This is going to get scouted. No second gateway. No third pylon as of yet for Master Ray either, though. We know how Exit feels about seeing third pylons in bases. However, everything that's been scouted, and critically, actually, Master Ray not sending out a scout of his own. Which might be an indicator that he's like, ah, forget it, I'm just going to go ahead and build Observatory first anyway. Exit having trouble keeping that SCV out of the line of fire, running up into that pylon. Range being upgraded. And Master Ray looks like he's going to go ahead. So skipping pylon and opting to go ahead and go command center before third pylon. Or sorry, command center. Nexus before third pylon. Grabbing his natural expansion. Exit. Grabbing a bunker. A second SCV moving out. And I think that is wise upon what's been seen. I don't think these Dragoons, unless they get forward position, are going to be able to stop this SCV from seeing this. Let's see what position they decide to take. Yeah, they're moving to the forward location on the ramp. This probe now finally moving out for Master Ray. The SCV hiding to the corner to go ahead and check out things down the line. Exit mining gas at the main. Sticking to just two Marines is getting that factory up behind this. And I'm wondering when he's going to decide to press that forward. Master Ray is opting for a robotics facility rapidly and i think he's going to need a, yeah he's going to need the observer to get any form of scouting information to follow this up exit saving a lot of resources grabbing an arm race and i'm almost wondering if he's going to try to play this extremely greedy and opt for an additional base the scv sliding underneath those dragoons sees two additional gateways gets the third gateway and sees the robotics facility so exit Getting all of the scouting information. Unbelievable. The timing of that sneaky SCV. 
just absolutely perfect. Completely bamboo bamboozling these Dragoons. But he's got the timing of the natural expansion. He knows the follow-up of the gateways. He has the robotics facility. All sorts of information that he needs to work with. Upgrading Siege Tech is going to go ahead and grab a second factory behind this army upon seeing that. Also getting an academy up as well. Great play from Exit. Still just two Marines in Bunker, and I also like his decision to not continue to pump Marines upon the lack of Dragoon pressure on his front door. Knows he's going to be able to get Siege Tech and a tank before he really needs to worry about it. Second factory up. Is he going to drop a second machine shop? It looks like he's going to go ahead and stick to this. So no Vulture follow-up. Is going to try to play, I think, a little bit more macro-oriented. I think Exit's plan here is to go up to three bases, try to go for an upgrade win. He's already got level one weapons running, getting that third factory, building a Goliath just to potentially deal, and Charm Boosters, potentially deal with ro with uh, robotics facility units and shuttles, DTs, Reavers. Six o'clock base master rate already setting up to potentially take a quick third. Will Exit scout that and opt to take a fast third himself? There, a shuttle is out for Master Ray. No DT tech, no Reaver tech behind this. Pretty standard Master Ray stuff. May load up the Zalts. This is, I think, more of a, a defensive posture than anything. First Observer getting eyes on the front. Compsat Station in position. Those Goliaths there, I think, are going to look for a Shimmer. They want to go ahead and pick off that First Observer, put... Master Ray in the dark, and we do see a starport in that back corner. I think that might be to time with the level 2 weapons. The Observer peeking forward is going to see some Siege Tanks and Goliaths, honestly, a little bit out of position. But it looks like Master Ray not really going to worry about it. This is a potential elevator situation, and this is honestly, with this amount of troops from Master Ray, despite his grouping up to potentially take the 6 o'clock, he might be able to sneak up, pick off that Siege Tank. Because there's no additional supporting... Yeah, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and wander to do so. Spreading across. That was just kind of an absolute invitation. And this is a great follow-up. Dropping the Zealots on the high ground. The Goliaths able to clear out that dropship. Group repair on the bunker. Master Ray going to lose these Zealots, but he's able to take out two siege tanks on the high ground. Several Dragoons getting wiped out, but honestly, keeping that early game siege tank count low... And making Master Ray think twice. The Observer's still in a forward position. The SCV wandering out. The Dragoon's trying to get on top of that. One of them eating a pretty big shell. And level 1 weapons going to finish up. Exit pressing forward. Making sure there's nothing in between here. I think that Observer is in, yeah. He's in strike range. Wondering if Exit's going to follow that up. Exit saying, okay, you don't have enough troops to go ahead and stop me from taking my third. Potentially. But leaving a siege tank in that back corner, it's getting picked off. The Dragoon's getting wiped out behind this, though. And Master A, typically in all of the previous matches we've seen, he's been able to lay that third base a, an incredible amount of time. But you can see Exit's game sense, where it's like you are clearly macroing, you're clearly grabbing an additional base and going for a more macro play behind this. I have the weapons upgrade. I've got Goliaths on the front. I can engage your Dragoon's wholesale. You can't stop me from taking my third. Six more Dragoons going to move out. It is possible that they'll be able to harass this. But honestly, I expect more Siege Tanks. More Mind Control, things like that. A dropship actually being built by Exit as well. So, wanting to go for a counter drop on top of this. While he's... This is kind of an unusual play. Oftentimes, you will not see Terran. This is, I guess, him adjusting to game one. The Dragoons trying to peel forward... I like exit staggered siege tank line and just engaging a lot of these troops to the forward, he's, uh, to the front, spotting with the barracks, moving in with the rest of the siege tanks. And you can see Master Ray just trying to get what he can done, but ends up losing a lot of dragoons as well and having trouble macroing behind this. He does have the six o'clock base up. He's still just sitting. Sorry, he, he actually does have five gateways. He's going for double upgrades to try to keep pace. With what Exit's doing. However, Exit is going to have level 1 armor momentarily. He has a second armory up. It looks like he neglected to start that second upgrade. Needs to do that in a hurry. 
but he's got that third base up well before Master Ray is in position to respond to it. Actually ahead in the worker count. So I'm concerned about Master Ray's position on top of that, Volt on top of everything else, delaying things a little bit so he can get a drop at this natural expansion. It looks like he's going to get several pro kills. So two right there, disrupting a lot. And going to get another Vulture dropped in the main. Master Ray was light on Dragoons with all of that pressure he was trying to apply earlier. So finally going to be able to clean that up. Another Vulture getting in the main. It looks like it's already got two kills. That's three kills before it's going to scoop up and sneak behind that line. He is giving Master Ray all sorts of trouble. And is this base scouted? I think this base has been spotted. I don't know if that dropship is going to be able to escape with its life. It looks like, yeah, trying to exit now. Trying to depart now. Huge raid from Artosis. I'll do a couple of matches after this. Is re-engaging the 6 o'clock base. Photon cannons are in position, so it looks like that dropship is going to get picked off. But Master Ray in a lot of trouble. He's got three bases, yes. Behind, significantly in supply. I think he's going to end up behind in the upgrades overall. And Exit's just done a fantastic job pouncing on him. Just really making his life a living hell. Probe being picked off. That was game sense from Exit. Already had the Vulture in position dropping mines in that bottom right-hand base. Right as he was anticipating Master Ray trying to grab additional expansions to try to sneak ahead economically. He's going to, ha he's going to hit the level 2 weapons, level 1 armor mark. Not too long from now, he could push behind that if he wanted to. He can also just sit back, play the economic lead, and go from there. Six factories. Producing behind this, he should be able to attack additional on from here. Master Ray starting to group up troops. He needs to accomplish something behind this. He is sitting at, looks like, seven gateways. Still... No Arbiters in the air. He does have a Stargate down. I don't know that he has Arbiter Tech up. Is just now finishing level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. Some Vultures sneaking up to that 9 o'clock location. Getting some mine plants across. Actually getting nice mine explosions on that. Looks like he's going to go ahead and try to clear out this bottom right-hand corner to try to take those additional bases. I think in hopes that Exit is just not going to punish him in the midst of this. But knowing Exit, I would not be shocked... If he follows this up with some sort of strong economic follow. Seventh factory. In the background. Exit. 30 supply ahead. Level 2 weapons is going to finish momentarily. He's already taking that 12 o'clock base, which suggests to me he's happy to just go ahead and sit back in the current position he's in. Hit the 200 mark. And press from that location. Turret should be able to snipe that observer at this location. Master Ray, his main looking light. He is, looks like, going to be able to potentially keep pace with upgrades. Got to hop on that. Exit has been a little bit slow on queuing up the next upgrade down the line. Level 2 weapon's about halfway finished. This is allowing at least Master Ray to pick up right there. Some vultures harassing that bottom right-hand corner, just getting a handful of mines planted. But just buying himself some time as he sits on four bases. Look for an STV transfer momentarily. A bunch of... And this is what is incredible about Exit in the midst of this. Not only is he macroing behind this, but he's really not giving Master Ray any room to breathe. He's continuing to plant mines out in the field. He's continuing to harass forward. He's forcing Master Ray to play on his toes. Go ahead. Moving ahead and... Backing off with those vultures, but you can just see the vultures doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Just running around the field. He's got a lot of mines at forward position. No observers with this. Sorry, one observer to the north. A dragoon still getting picked off. Science vessel with this group. Exit with a huge grouping of troops. Level 2 armor is going to finish in not too long from now. Looks like he's unseaging. I'm wondering if he's going to start moving out from here. Master Ray, I do not believe, has a sufficient army. First of all, to defend all his holdings, but secondarily, to even stop Exit from taking additional bases. Exit piling in, grouping up to the north. Three machine shops. A little bit light on the factory count, considering he has four bases. Exit close to the 200 supply mark. 
SCV is now transferred to the 12 o'clock location. Mastery has started mining that bottom right. Maybe he can play some Gorilla Toss and start rebuilding stuff in that bottom right by himself some time. As far as the upgrades go, he might be able to catch up at least in that region. This is, I think, the first Arbiter that I'm seeing fielded. And usually, against any Terran army, you oftentimes want Stasis as they're starting to move out. He's trying to take that 9 o'clock base behind this. He has no Arbiters as Exit's pressing out with a superior upgraded larger Terran army. Pressing across this left-hand lane, it looks like Exit wants to go ahead and engage Master Ray counterclockwise. Master Ray doing a pretty good job macroing behind this to try to catch up, but with no Arbiters to support. The Siege Tanks lining up and everything just getting obliterated under this army. Exit pressing up. Those Dragoons lasting a little bit longer than they should have otherwise because of a lot of misfire rate. Reinforcements streaming across the middle of the map. There are Dragoons to potentially cut that off, but it looks like they're going to go ahead and sneak on that top lane. Master Ray canceling that Nexus in the 9 o'clock. That's slowly being wiped out. Just a skeleton crew being left to do cleanup duty right there. And exit re-engaging towards the natural expansion. Master Ray has to engage here and stop this attack force. The Zelt's pressing forward. They are getting on top of the siege tanks. But the Zealots are now expended, and additional siege tanks are still standing to press into the Dragoon Force that is on top of Master Ray's natural expansion. He needs to hold here. Otherwise, he is going to get contained and, ep and end up having to GG and go into a final match. More vultures streaming across the map. Exit continuing to press forward. I think he's leaving troops in place momentarily just in case their unit's coming from other locations. The vultures on top of the Zealots, they... And, wow, those Zealots eating mines as they are grouped up. And, unfortunately, this is just turning into a filter in that left-hand corner. The first Arbiter on the field. There are no Goliaths here, but that's all Master Ray has. I'm expecting a GG momentarily. Single Goliath actually walking up. Heavily damaged, but nothing defending this natural expansion at this stage. The probe's exposed. A science vessel in the midst of things. Looks like it got an EMP off on the Arbiter on the high ground before it engaged. An exit just sitting... Inside this base. Has a science vessel just for the cloaked units. That getting just absolutely devastated. If that science vessel just sits here, this is going to be a difficult ramp to even retake as the Siege Tanks are just going to be able to rain terror down on units trying to just get on the field to engage. Master trying to buy himself some time. Arbiter actually doing damage to that forward Siege Tank. The Arbiter is the one piece of defense here. And on top of that, Exit casually grabbing this upper left-hand base. Natural expansion Nexit, uh, Nexus getting wiped out. Master Ray realizing the situation, trying to delay and rebuild in that bottom right-hand corner. Even with the rebuild, though, I don't think he can stop Exit or catch up economically. Exit grabbing another base at that 11 o'clock location as well, just in case. Some units now gathering up to go ahead and engage everything in that bottom right-hand corner. Master Ray has no troops to engage. He's going to have to wait for these Nexus to warp in. A mine is actually seeing all of this action happen. There's a hidden mine underneath here for exit. Starting to pound away at the natural expansion in the bottom right-hand corner. Siege Tank's actually backing out. Somehow Master Ray able to break through the left-hand corner. Absolutely magical. However, Master Ray practically down half the supply count. Exit near 200. Master Ray still sitting near 100. Vultures planting all sorts of mines. They're going to be able to take down this Artosis pylon, powering these gateways, and they should be able to go ahead and walk up and take that secondary pylon down as well. Exit, just going to go ahead and abandon that natural expansion and filter in, take that 11 o'clock base, take the upper left-hand corner. Just continue to mine from there. He's still got a decent-sized bank. Looks like some Dragoons were able to spawn and clear things out. That Nexus wiped out just as... Reinforcements for Master Ray able to wipe out what's in the bottom right. Master Ray still trying to make a game of this. Looks like he is going to be able to get to level 3 weapons, level 3 armor, before Exit hits level 3 armor on his mech force. But he's still got a huge deficit as far as just raw unit counts. A dropship hanging out menacingly over the Terran army as it just presses forward. 
not even bothering to siege in that engagement. Some vo Looks like some Zealots able to get in that back corner on top of those siege tanks. Exit being a little bit sloppy with his unit cohesion. Or the Zealots getting distracted. A probe walking across this battlefield. Trying to pull a Lieutenant Spears right there. And Master Ray going to GG realizing he can't reinforce, can't defend the bottom right. Exit taking game two. We're going to move to a final match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.